Imagine a world where you can go food shopping and with a snap of your finger, immediately obtain all the information you need to know about the food in front of you. Is it good for you? Is it bad for your family? Take me home, stay away. Edward. <laughs> well, that, in essence, is what Marketeer app is all about, helping you make better food choices in a snap. You see, times are changing. And in the last decade alone, health and wellness concerns are on the rise. Today, one out of 10 people have diabetes. Almost 40% of the younger generation suffer from overweight. And 50% of our elderly suffer from high blood pressure. For these people and many more, knowing information about the food that they eat is something essential. It can be a matter of life or death. But there's a problem. In Hong Kong, we love buying fresh. And 60% of food sold in Hong Kong is sold fresh, unpacked, without any kind of labeling or information provided. Even those that do come in the supermarket with some kind of labeling, they're generic and fail to provide you personal insights according to your body type and your health conditions. But all that is a matter of the past. Introducing Marketeer, the app that recognizes the food around you. Simply snap a photo, no need barcode, no need scanning, and immediately obtain one line of result. Good for you, thumbs up. Bad for you, thumbs down. That simple. All this, according to your nutritional profile you give us when you first download the app, but not only this, high targeted information, also the basics like price, how do I cook this, how do I store this, and even a monitoring tool to allow you to track your daily nutrition performances. You see, marketing benefit goes beyond any kind of customer segment, but there is a particular group, young moms, the unexperienced ones. Those are the ones that feel the most pressure to provide good health to their loved ones. Those are the ones that out there are buying uh, fresh food, and those are the ones that are with the nutrition uh, uh, conscious even more than the general population. When it comes to early adapters, foreign moms, non-Cantonese speakers, you can imagine that their struggle is even double. It's not only a matter of keeping your family healthy, but also in a foreign environment where many products are unfamiliar and the communication barrier is a real struggle. When it comes to food businesses need, more than 45,000 fresh food retailers, importers, and distributors in Hong Kong spend a tremendous amount of money each year in order to understand the why behind consumer preferences. They know what you buy, they can monitor your purchases uh, with the membership cards and et cetera. It takes them a tremendous amount of resources to understand that why behind that purchase. And we have that answer because we facilitate the dialogue between consumers and food businesses. Helping those know their food while helping those know their customers. It's a mutual beneficial way of aggregating data. Consumers want to give us more information about themselves in order to customize their results, while businesses want to use this information in order to provide better product range and better services. And that's exactly how we make our money. The free revenue sources, the B2B, the B2C, and the uh, uh, in-app ads. When it comes to businesses, as mentioned, a data analyst package helping businesses generate insights and know their customers, but also a promotion package because you can imagine that when a user is snapping a photo of an Apple, he's interested in buying an Apple, and that's exactly that moment of decision when businesses want to reach out to potential customers. When it comes to individual, a freemium model, free for all, but a premium features, and uh, in order to diversify revenue as much as possible in app ads. When it comes to implementation, tackle first the fresh aisle, the 76% of sales, fruits and vegetables, and slowly expand to the other aisles of the uh, market. But what's really nice about this idea is that it can easily be uh, integrated into other e-health solutions and satellite industries like Chinese medicine. The social impact of this project is the real passion behind it. Uh, but it's actually not these dry figures about reducing public health costs and implementation of the government uh, uh, smart city policy. It's these people. It's Philip, the marketeer, that welcomed me to Hong Kong. He is still standing, but a lot of his colleagues had to shut down in, uh, due to the decline of the industry in recent years. And today, the government has to pay 54 million Hong Kong dollars each year in order to subsidize the industry. And then you have Kathy, the Nepali mom of two beautiful kids that just wants to enjoy affordable and healthy food like everyone else and go shop in the markets in the local shops, but the communication barrier really stops her from doing so. Imagine the effect of bringing 750,000 non-Cantonese speakers like Kathy and me to the market. Imagine what can it do to the industry. And that's exactly what we're doing. Edward on the image recognition, John on the development, and me on the content side. We already have supporters in this early stage from Lechko members and celebrity chefs, and we hope that you can become a supporter as well. That's a dream. Thank you very much. And what is the key difference is if I compare with the other service providers, you can take a photo of the food, they can calculate the calorie and whether it's good for you or not. So what is the key different things you can provide? 
there's currently no out. Uh, there's no other solution in the market now. Uh, there is uh, actually I can have that. Uh, um, there's a lot of uh, you can know, station. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of products trying to to um, to do the barcode scanning. Uh, but when it comes to unpacked uh, unpacked uh, products, uh, there's currently no solution. Uh, there's focusing. There's a new app actually that's out there now, tr trying to focus on um, f on uh, on cooked foods, uh, but it's uh, actually not uh, localized to the to the local products uh, in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a very special situation because we have a lot of um, a lot of items coming from 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 the east, uh, from Asia, from China, uh, and then we have this kind of uh, the, the still the integration of concepts of Western values. And there's nothing out there that now mixes it uh, and gives you the information, the kind of nutritional uh, Western perspectives of uh, health uh, pro for, for in the products uh, with the actual local pro uh, products. Uh, then is it the uh, Hong Kong market is it big enough to justify your business? Uh, yes, it is, but it's also a matter of uh, regional uh, expanding. Uh, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, China, of course, all of these countries are suffering from similar situations of, in the popularity of the markets. Uh, still uh, in decline, but still a lot of uh, very common uh, markets. Uh, can, can you talk about your team members? I mean, do you have the necessary combination of skills to move this project forward? Uh, uh, Edward, in terms of, uh, it, uh, he can maybe explain, but uh, he has uh, experience from the, in terms of the image recognition. Uh, and um, um, John the, is an app developer that uh, already has his experience of the, a lot of developing app. He's actually a professional that also runs a, his own company. And me, uh, except being a foodie, <laughs> I really uh, I, I, I focused on this uh, subject of food security in terms of my studies here in HKU. And uh, it, it's kind of, uh, the, the struggle really comes from, from my own experience. And this is something that I'm really passionate to solve. And I think that um, it just keeps me, keeps me going. So, so for this project, do you have already a prototype uh, completed for the project? We're yes. now developing a prototype. We're actually supported by Cyberport. Okay. And, uh, and Good we're, to know. <laughs> we're, we're on the way, and uh, very soon we're going to have the okay. first step. Uh, so we will know the accuracy of the image recognition? We, we already know that. the accuracy, actually. Uh, sorry, sorry. Move back. Uh, we already we're testing it now. We actually don't need the the, the user the the user interface to, to test it, the, and it, the results are astonishing, because we're basically training it. It's a lot of that keeps me waking up <laughs> at, at night, but it's a lot of training. And so that's a point that needs to be said about AI. I mean, people say they, they it looks amazing. Yeah, the machine can recognize it. Behind every smart machine, there's a lot of uh, dumb people training it every day. And doing a lot of work, so it's a lot of work, but we're we're definitely uh, capable. Do, do you have uh, uh, provided uh, personalized s solution? Because everybody has different nutritional needs and all this. Yeah, like if if the answer is yes, how do you do this? So we have our own algorithm. Uh, we we basically are collecting um, with, with advice of nutritionist. Uh, we're making our own. Uh, uh, calculations basically for each uh, stream that is provided. It, this is just a reference for the design, but uh, sorry, it doesn't go back. But, but there's, uh, there's a, cal a very particular calculation for each uh, health condition, for each disease, uh, for each diet. And uh, for, for, for instance, if you're looking for uh, building muscle, if you're looking for a workout, so it's basically uh, a certain percentage of protein and a certain uh, uh, balance between uh, carbohydrates and protein. So it's, it's basically very, uh, it's very nutritional science. I, I've heard you before, I've seen you as well. Uh, three months ago and today, and three months later and six months down the road, tell us exactly where will you be? And what have you done uh, three months uh, 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 since then? We had a tremendous, in terms of, uh, I don't know uh, where you first, uh, but, no, mine, I've seen you before. but, uh, <laughs> but basically we just, uh, we just got the supported, uh, so we're, we're on the run in terms of actually uh, providing a prototype, uh, running a beta release, uh, and we'll, uh, sorry, schedule of doing it. 